Have you ever thought about your professional footprint? We hear our carbon footprint, our cyber footprint, but what about our professional footprint? Every time that we say something derogatory about our employers, our coworkers, our job in general, we're saying it out loud in one-to-one -one conversations, in a group conversation, in cyber platforms, and that message keeps going. It's like it's an infinite trickle effect throughout cyberspace and they're seeing our professional footprint. And you never know who's gonna hear that, who's gonna repeat that, and you never know how that could come back to bite you later. While we all need to, to express our frustration, to include myself, the one thing that I don't want is to be saying something derogatory unless I've got a solution for it. And sometimes we're just in situations that we've outgrown, that they, they don't show us respect or whatever the case may be. But it all comes down to a choice. The choice to stay, the choice to go, the choice to try and change things, the choice to accept that things are just how they are and they're not gonna change and figuring out what you wanna do from that point forward. But while we can stay in the negative and we can speak in the negative and we can write in the negative and we can post in the negative content, and that will get momentum because people love to chime in and tell you their story. And then it builds and it builds and it builds. But what are we accomplishing? We're just accomplishing a platform to vent in the negative content. But we are not coming up with solutions to help us get through that. And that's where I think that we're missing the mark. And let's face it, uh, employers now are... One, they are searching for new employees because we still have a labor shortage, but they're being very picky about who they're hiring too. And everything that we post out in Cyberland, they can find. And think about that. They don't want to get a, somebody that has been continuously to bash every single employer and manager that they've worked under. At some point, they start seeing a pattern and it's not necessarily on the flip side of the employer, it's with that person. So think about that. If you're going, think about your professional footprint and how you, are you gonna be proud that if everybody reads this in five years from now, are you gonna, is that gonna be a true reflection of who you are? And it's what you're going through now, is it really gonna matter in five years that it, it, that it would make you want to post it to everybody? And trust me when I say this, I've done it too. I fell in that trap of, of saying something because I was frustrated and I put it out there and then I wanted to retract it and you can't. So I've learned now, channel that into your trusted people, your core five, your core five group of friends that you can talk and vent in a, in a collaborative spirit. But um, give that some thought. I, I hope that it will help you because Everything that we do is a reflection of who we are, and I think that we need to make sure that it is going to be positive. And if we are going to talk about things that are challenging us, let's try to come up with solutions or a plan of how we're gonna navigate through it. And that's what I got for you today.